The Singularity Expedition in No Man's Sky has finally come, and I wanted to fill you in on my experience as it was my first expedition ever. It's Wave Buggy. Let me prefix this by explaining why it is my first expedition. I originally played No Man's Sky on release like most other people around the world in 2016. My first playthrough, as the game didn't have nearly as much content as today, consisted of simply making my way to the center of the galaxy, stopping to explore cool and unique looking worlds along the way, and trying to decipher as many of the alien languages as possible. All that in a 50 hour playthrough. Now I know what you're thinking. 50 hours is nowhere near enough time to fully experience the game, even on release and surely had more to offer. Perhaps yes, but while people were busy hating on the game, review bombing it, grabbing their pitchforks and asking for Sean Murray to be burned at the stake like a witch, well, I was busy finding my fun in it, and after those 50 hours, I decided to put the game back in the oven and wait for it to bake a little longer. Fast forward a few years and I had already missed multiple expeditions. At the time I was simply busy covering other games on my Twitch channel and simply wasn't on my radar. Even though I was aware of it, I simply wasn't paying full attention. I ended up revisiting the game two years ago and at that point No Man's Sky had grown to be the behemoth it is known as today. The redemption arc was completed and I felt attracted enough to make my big return. Now this was a game changer, literally. While my first playthrough was 50 hours, my second was 250 hours. I was convinced this was the best space title I had ever experienced, but sadly, no expedition within that time frame. A month ago, I was itching to play again. So many new things like settlements and interceptors were added to the game and I simply knew I needed to make a return. So I did. And boy am I glad I did. Because two weeks into playing, someone stumbled into my stream to inform me the day has come. Yes, an expedition. And it was on the horizon. In fact, just two days away. I couldn't contain myself and frankly I was excited to get some exclusive expedition drips since all my friends have been spending the past few weeks telling me, oh you can't get this bro, it's from an expedition. Are you little? <laughs> so here we are. The Singularity. Now keep in mind, I have no other expeditions under my belt to base my opinions on. So this is simply my experience with it, and I'll try to be as fair as possible. As I loaded into the world, I was a bit overwhelmed since I didn't know how anything functioned, but quickly realized that it is very well explained and all the necessary information can be easily accessed through the menus and maybe a little too easily to be honest. I was surprised by the ease of progress at first, but quickly took off my survival hat to put on my explorer hat and simply let the game take me on the this journey. The first couple phases were rather simple fetch quests taking you from one point to another with corrupted lore sprinkled in between, but then I got my first exclusive expedition item and it cheered me right up. I have to be honest, even though simplistic, the cool unique items always put a smile on my face and kept me pushing forward. I'm a Lou Goblin. I said it. But then I ran into a major issue. Or should I say we all ran into a major issue. The community progress quest. Okay, let me start by saying that it was the most anticlimactic thing I have experienced in a long time and defeats the purpose of being a space baron explorer when you're stopped dead in your tracks on what seemed to be more of a timer than a contribution based progress. Don't want to start any conspiracies here, but that's what it looked like to me. That being said, you guys know by now that I do not like to spread negativity here, so I'd rather try and find a solution as opposed to harping on things endlessly. My first thought was to simply remove it, but then I thought maybe we could reduce the progress bar requirement by like 75% maybe? And I know it seems like a lot, but turning the community quest into a one day thing instead of four to five days seems more reasonable to me. That being said, it didn't ruin my experience. Once the bar was filled, and we could progress, I did, and enjoyed the rest of the expedition. But I would be a liar if I told you that this was the first experience I was expecting. Since this was my first expedition, I have nothing to gauge it by. My rating is a 7 out of 10. Subject to change over time as I participate in other expeditions, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments to fill me in. I want to know which expedition was the most fun for you and which one gave the best rewards because that's what I'm mostly interested in to be honest. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.